Welcome to my porch. I'm Big Nath with the Rock Squirrel Throw Society, and I'm about to take an adventure through the throws. The shot put in the discus. Come join me. All right, welcome back. Uh, last video, we talked about just holding the shot, releasing the shot. Uh, this video, we're gonna tack that on to the stand throw. The stand throw is the final portion of the throw where you've landed at the front of the ring, and now we're gonna throw the shot. So, how do you set up for the stand throw? Good question, I'll tell you. Um, first of all, I'm a lefty, so a righty will kind of mirror this. Your back leg, which for righties will be the right leg, for me it'll be my left leg, is in back. I'm gonna take my right foot, and I'm gonna put my, the ball of my foot basically to where my heel is, and then spread it out. So we call this the heel toe position. So instead of being completely lined up here, straight, my front toe is gonna to be where my back heel is. The reason we do this is so we can turn and actually be balanced at the end and be able to completely turn through. If your legs are lined up here, you're like an ice skate at the end and it's really hard to stay balanced. It's really hard to get your hips all the way through. Here, balance so easy. I can push my hips all the way through, get my left hip through your right hip. I'll show it right to you really quick for you jamokes who can't handle the brain switch. So, righty, left toe to right heel, out here, and I'll do a turn and finish. All right, so how wide do you go? This will be a little different from person to person, but generally a good way for you to determine where your body likes to be as far as like an athletic position is just to jump and catch yourself in a squat position. Whatever, I mean, a uh, position like you could squat in. Whatever position you land in, that's a pretty good idea of where you are, where you personally are powerful leg width wise. So it'll be right around your shoulder width, a little bit wider, but from this position, get in your heel toe position. Once you're in heel toe, all you're gonna do, get over your back leg so there's still a bend in your front leg, but your weight is mostly on your back leg. Once you're back here, all we're gonna do is turn your shoulders back, and we're in a stand throw position. So we don't need to do any kind of crazy winding back, any kind of torquing this leg. You're gonna see people doing all kinds of wacky stuff. Um, you're gonna see people turn them back here. People like, getting super far and doing like a lunge. No, just getting your comfortable width position, heel toe, get a little bend in your knees, over your back leg, turn your shoulders back, and you're there. All right, so now that we have a stand throw position, how do we use the legs and how do we use the body to throw out of it? Um, the big important thing that everyone's gonna tell you that is totally true and totally awesome is that we are using our legs to throw. We're not depending on the arms, the upper body. Our big goal is most of us, not all of us are blessed this way, but most of us are just big guys and gals who are throwing. And so what we're trying to do is to get momentum in this body, move the body, and then when the body has this momentum, it's just gonna transfer to this little tiny shot and disc and there's gonna be a huge like uh, kinetic energy transfer from this big thing to this little thing that's going. That doesn't happen if legs don't move and you push it. It happens when the body moves and then transfers to the shot or disc. So the way that we're gonna be using our legs, um, even though we are throwing that direction, we're not trying to move our body in that direction. A portion of our body is, but not our whole body. So, you're gonna be using your legs to propel your throwing side. So for a righty, it'll be your right side. For a lefty, it'll be my left side. I'm using my left leg, left hip, and pushing the left side of my body that way. I'm using my right leg, right hip, and I'm pushing the right side of my body this way. And when they work together, you end up staying kind of in the middle. So, I'll get back here. I'm just going to lean. I'm not going to go into full stand throw position. I'm just going to squat down a little bit. Feel your right leg pushing you back. 
Feel your left leg pushing forward and you work them together and squeeze your legs together and you're gonna turn like that. In the finish, you're gonna have your, both your knees pointing towards the throw. You're not gonna have this one staying back here. Um, everything is going this direction to the throw because this side, to push to the throw, it's not gonna push like that. It's gonna push best facing the throw. This foot pushing back. So at the end, legs snapping together, hips turning, and you wanna be able to just stick here. So, first little drill for you to do here is just that. Gain your heel toe position. Don't even worry about getting over your back leg. Just squat down a little bit and use both your legs to turn your body. And you wanna finish balanced here. Not torquing away, stick it. All right. Okay, so once you're comfortable with this easy drill without the shot of just sticking here, turning your hips, we're gonna start throwing something. So take your ball, ball the towel, shot, whatever you're using, you're gonna get in your heel toe position. And all we're gonna do is get over your right leg and turn and throw. So I'm gonna get this in your neck, elbow up, pinky up, thumb down. We're not gonna wind back at all, just gonna be here with your this arm out to the throw, this elbow facing away from the throw. And all we're gonna do is feel the hips work and then let the upper body drag behind it. Feel how there's the energy of your body is moving and it's pulling and transferring to the shot here. So here we go, nice and easy. Turn the legs, stick it, and then let the upper body fall through. So you want to feel those legs. You, always, you want to be very disciplined, especially when you first start throwing. Your brain is gonna to want to just chuck this thing. It's gonna to want to see it go far. You need to be very disciplined to feel your legs doing the correct things that we're trying to tell them to do. So always sticking this, not standing up, turning, pushing back with the right hip, pushing forward with the left hip. And as that's working well, feeling the stretch come up the body. So it's gonna end up being like hips, or legs, hips, stomach, chest, shoulder, shot. You're just gonna feel a ripple up the body like a rubber band. We're not, we're never going to be pushing the discus, pushing the shot, we're gonna be pulling just like with a rubber band we're stretching it and then letting it snap um, think about it like a baseball or a, or a softball you're not going to be able to push that thing far you're going to be able to stretch and snap it out there and uh, this is a lot heavier so we can't stretch like that but we can stretch here stretch across the body use all these muscles into what's called a stretch reflex, where the muscle stretches to its maximum capacity and it naturally reflexes. So much quicker and so much more powerful than you ever could just pushing. So I'll do another one of these. And you can see legs, upper body. I'm not forced, I'm not trying to do a, I'm not trying to hold my upper body back so much as letting the, uh, the legs go ahead and then stretch everything and force my upper body just to follow it. All right, so do a ton of reps with that, getting used to feeling the hips, the hips leading the way and the upper body dragging behind, sticking all of your throws, not falling away in any direction. Um, then we'll turn that into a full stand throw. So very simply, the only, the only thing that changes you're still in the same starting position. All that happens, you turn your shoulders back so your sternum and your nose, your face, is facing away from the throw. And you will use your other arm to reach that direction. So if you are in the back of the ring and I'm throwing that way, I'm gonna set up here in my good heel toe position, get over my back leg, turn, so my sternum is facing you, reach back this way with my other arm. You can see my feet are still pointing this direction. They're not 
turning back. Feet are still pointing in this direction, the hip is still pointing in this direction. So if there's like a bucket here, I could pee in a bucket right in front of me. Ladies, it'll be a little bit different. So we're back here, and from here, it's gonna be the same exact thing. It's gonna take, it's gonna take more time, because you're more uh, raveled up as opposed to unraveled. So you're still going to use the legs to this leg to push forward, this leg to push backward. It's just gonna take more time for everything to unravel. Still be very patient with upper body. Let the hips pull you through, and then snap. So this leg pushing back, this leg pushing forward. Push them through. And then kind of at full speed, 